Hey everybody, it's Missy again. Thanks for joining me today. I have a project for Hip Kit Club this week. We are all doing gift giving or um, off the page projects, something that's not a layout that is related to the holidays. And I really struggled with this because I'm just not that great at home decor or off the page projects. And so I took a very long time to try to figure out what I could do because I love layouts, I love working with photos. So this was a challenge for me, but I think I came up with a cute idea and it's just making simple ornaments for your tree. And I thought I would use all of these cute little papers from Crate Paper that have these scenes on them with the houses and the birds and the trees. And I thought I would try to create some little scenes on basic round circles of white cardstock and then punch holes in them, put some string through them, and make ornaments out of them. And I think they turned out pretty cute. This, uh, you know, anybody could do this. This did not, uh, it wasn't complicated. It didn't take me a super long time to do. It was just different because I'm used to just doing layouts and working with pictures. And so all I'm doing here is fussy cutting a lot of things out of paper. I love these little houses and the birds, and I thought these would make perfect little scenes on these circles because they're small and, you know, ornaments aren't super huge. And so uh, that's all I'm doing here is a lot of fussy cutting. And um, this particular ornament is, uh, they're all going to be white backgrounds, but I thought I would make this one kind of snowy since these birds look like they are ready for winter with their little scarves on and their hats and things and I thought I would add a few trees and so the bulk of this layout or I'm sorry there I go saying layout the bulk of this project is is me fussy cutting so I cut a lot of that out I'm gonna make four ornaments and this one I just had to use this little bear I thought he was adorable and again I'm gonna fussy cut him out and he's going to be the focus of the second ornament. And I am going to pull in some mixed media on these. I can't do a project without some paint of some sort. So I'm going to do one with a snowman on it. And that's from one of the die cuts. So I'm going to add this little strip of trees in behind this little snowman. So it looks like he's standing in front of a row of little trees. And I've pulled out some other things over there on the left. I've pulled out some of the uh, little pom-poms. I believe those are crepe paper and some other die cuts and things. And this is the colorings, Well Blew Me Down, from the color kit. And I'm just adding a little bit of color back there. I think that adds a really nice touch of that aqua color to the background of this project. And yes, even though I'm not doing a layout, I have to add some tangled thread in there. I don't think I know how to create a project without the tangled thread. So yeah, it's even going to be hanging on my tree. I'm okay with that. I like it. I'm going to add some foam under that little snowman to give him some dimension. And then to emphasize the idea of snow, I'm going to add some of those little white pom-pom balls. And snow is foreign to me because I live in Florida and I've never seen it here. I have seen it once. I saw it on my honeymoon when we went to Lake Tahoe. So yeah, I actually have seen it. It was very cold. Uh, I liked it for like the first day. And then after that, I was like, okay, I can tell I'm meant to live in Florida. So uh, it looks pretty in pictures on the computer or on TV but uh, yeah so my hats off to all of you who live where it snows all the time because this girl could not handle it so anyway uh, I pulled out this stencil this was actually from I believe November 2015 hip kits uh, that stencil and I wanted to create the idea of snow on that so I pulled out the foiled again dazzlers and just smudged some on and I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to move on to the bear. I thought we needed some pink and that's pink stilettos and this is another pink from my stash and I didn't add any gesso or anything to these. I'm just adding a little bit of the color to jazz up the backgrounds here since I did go with white cardstock. That's another Shimmers Aqua Hues. It's a red color. I didn't add too much of it 
because we all know that red liquid can quickly look like blood so I dabbed it up so it was a little more faded and then I think that little holly and ivy there look perfect on his scarf it looks like it was meant to be just right there so I'm gonna use that for a pop of red and I'm uh, gonna play around with a lot of these phrase stickers and see if they look good some of the ornaments I'm gonna have words on them some of them I'm not I I really want to go back I didn't make this one with a little girl throwing the snowball I think she looks cute I just didn't, I couldn't make it work for, it just wasn't going, I don't know. I tried to make it work. I tried to make these little mushrooms work. These are some leftover cut files from Erit's Christmas trees that I used on my very first layout for this month. And so I'm going to try to incorporate those onto this, I keep wanting to say layout. It's not a layout ornament with these little animals. I thought I would make this one with the squirrel and the birds. This one turned out really pretty. This is the Well Bloomy Down and the Glorious Day from last month. I just add a little bit of water to kind of smudge it around. I think it looks really cool when it's dry. It's kind of hard to tell, but in, in person it's got this really pretty gold sheen on top of that aqua. So all I'm doing here is just trimming around that thick white layer around the edge of this little squirrel. And he's going to sit right there at the bottom of the trees. And uh, these two little birds are going to go over here on the right. And they're looking at the squirrel. And I kind of felt like Bob Ross when I was making this. Because I kept saying, oh, let's give this little bird a little friend here. Let's give this tree a little friend. They're just happy little animals in the woods. Yeah, if you know who Bob Ross is, then you know he uh, said that quite frequently. So I was channeling my inner Bob. Not with the actual painting skills, but just with the little uh, forest animal thing. So here's my sewing machine. I kind of stretched it and made it work. You can't really see what I'm doing, but I just decided to do some stitching on these. And this is shiny gold thread. I just did a little circle there around the edges. And that's some vellum. I just tore it, stitched it down, and it kind of gives a little faded look down there at the bottom and gives you the idea of maybe some snow. Looks a lot better in person. I think you can see it a little more more clearly in person than you can here under these bright lights. I'm gonna pop that squirrel up. And he needs a friend, so here come his little friends. And you know, the more I got into this project, the more fun it became, even though it was out of my comfort zone. And I think I used a lot of projects, ugh, products, that I don't think I would have wound up using on layouts. So um, I think it worked out great. So all of the Dazzlers is dry. And so now I'm going to come in and rebuild this little scene with the first things that I cut out. And again, I'm going to add a little layer of vellum at the bottom. And it just looks kind of like a little snowbank. And I'm going to stitch again on this one. I'm going to add white thread and I'm just going to do a little back and forth straight stitching kind of in a zigzag pattern. Just to give it some texture and to make sure that vellum is staying put. I'm just going back and forth, back and forth, straight stitching. And it's white so, you know, if I messed up, it's very subtle. I mainly just did it to keep the vellum down and to add a little bit of texture there. Tiny pieces of foam to, to raise these little birds up. I think this one's my favorite. Those little birds are too cute. So now I'm going to jazz up the bear. And I do more stitching on this one and I added a hot pink thread to kind of match the background. And I just kind of do a bullseye circle. Straight stitch, I just keep turning it and turning it and turning it and kind of coming in and in and in until I get to the center. 
and it just gives the background a little something and it's crooked it's definitely not straight the closer I got to the center the more crooked it got so I finally just stopped because the bear's gonna cover up the middle anyway and it kind of reminds me of the the inner circles of a tree stump or a tree trunk so I thought that looked kind of cute And I'm going to come in with these little puffy dots. These are the exclusive puffy stickers. And they're just red and pink little circles. And then I'm going to add some of these black and white stars. Just to jazz up the background a little bit. And I do not add any words to the bear. But I am going to come in and add Be Merry and Bright to this one. And be careful with these gold acrylic pieces. Because I snapped bright right where the R is. And the gold part was, it snapped off and it almost, I couldn't get it to go back in there. And so you can barely see the R, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Things happen. We break things and I couldn't really put it back together. So I'm going to wedge Be Merry underneath the B and bright and kind of glue that down. And so it just gives the top of that one a little something. It's going to give a little bit of shiny gold and it's going to match the thread there at the bottom. So the last thing I'm going to do is break out some cord and my crocodile, which I have not used in forever. It's my big hole puncher there. That thing will punch through metal. It's awesome. I just don't use it much anymore. And I'm just going to come in. I tried to do a fancy bow, but I'm terrible with bows. And so I'm just going to do a good old fashioned double knot and leave it as is. And they're going to hang great on the tree. Because, you know, the whole point of this is supposed to be homemade. It's supposed to be kind of messy. If it's perfect, then, you know, it's not mine. Because <laughs> I think everything I make, you can tell it's homemade. And I'm okay with that. And so, if these are a little crooked or a little off, it's alright. Anyway, there they are. I think they turned out pretty cute. I uh, hung them on my tree and I think they look pretty cute. So, I will definitely keep these and use them again. So I hope you enjoyed this. Here come the close-ups. I hope you give this a try. It's a fun little project you could do with little ones. You could use so many different things on these because the kits are full of these cute things. Here's some close-ups of them hanging on my tree. I think they turned out cute. So uh, let me know what you guys think and I will see you next week with another layout. So thanks for watching. Have a great week.